Well, I'm Hilia, and I'm from Maine in the U.S. Um, I was looking into volunteering, and so I got a grant from Umprakash, and um, here I'm making a documentary. Uh, I've just been filming the children a lot. Uh, I spoke I, with the founder, Sabina, and asked her to tell me a little bit about herself and the history of the organization. Okay. Hi, I'm Sabina from the Netherlands. I studied industrial design engineering, and after this study I did a second one, which was arts. So I'm an art teacher as well. Um, and can you explain Atelier Favela, like how it started and how it ended up in Nicaragua and the yeah. basic idea just behind the project? Yeah, I will. Atelier Favela started as an idea when I was in Brazil for my studies. I worked there in the slums and I saw a lot of people who were in need, which I wanted to help with some uh, uh, experience that I had. So as soon as I could, I went back to start the project, which was a cultural center in Brazil, and children from the slums could go there to explore their talents and to find their true potential. And it was, uh, I really loved to work, uh, to work over there, but it was also very dangerous, because in the slum there's a lot of violence, there's the, there are the drug wars, and um, we've worked there for three years, and we had really a lot of um, great results with the children, it was really good to work with, but um, as I got pregnant, I got, got a time to search for a new space, and we, tr we decided to travel to Nicaragua, which, uh, g uh, getting here, you see it's like a really undeveloped country, even less than in Brazil, only people live in more harmony and there is like less violence, so we try to implant the same project as we did in Brazil here with the um, community of Tiquantepi. And we really feel that we are very welcome here with the work we do. And um, students who don't have the access to good education can come to the project here to develop their talents in arts, in dance, in music, in all the stuff that can help them to grow up so that they can, su can sustain themselves better in their futures. In and like what is a, an average day here at Atelier Favela, like with the classes, like do you, sure. what kinds of classes? Sure. Uh, well, in the morning we, uh, we used to don't have classes because the children here go to school in the mornings, so that's the time we used to do some administration work or just hang around with the volunteers. And then in the afternoon, the house is getting full of children. At two o'clock start, start the lessons for or the smaller ones from four to uh, eight years old or the older ones from eight uh, up to 12. And then we teach different kind of arts. It's like uh, so, sometimes there's a physical part where we do dancing, capoeira, circus, like uh, pulling around. And then there is the part where we do the art lessons. And then it can be from painting until like we use a lot of, uh, recy uh, do a lot of recycling as well, using uh, use, uh, useless materials to make art. And yeah, we try to uh, prepare every time uh, a challenging class for the children, so they can learn new stuff. Um, and how much, uh, like, what are the, some ways that you benefit from the volunteers coming through, or how do you think that the children benefit from meeting the volunteers? And uh -huh. I myself do, do it as well, voluntary, and I try to put my experiences and knowledge in the work I do with the children, so I try to learn them everything I can and with new people coming around, it's nice because everyone is special and has his own experiences, which they can pass on to the children. So volunteers being around, they can uh, they can do a lot. Every f we 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 propose to them that they can uh, put in their own ideas and their own knowledge to to the sender. It's going to be like teaching children to like helping out with uh, making the place more pretty. If you are really good in the computer, making a video or edit, editing or 
any kind of project is very welcome here. And by this diversity, it's very nice that the children see what kind of possibilities there exist that they can do with their lives. The exchange between volunteers and our students is very good because both sides sides they can learn of each other as well the children of all the experience the volunteers have and the other way around it's also nice for the volunteers to see how the children live here and they they get they pick up a lot of new stuff around which they can teach to these volunteers as well by seeing what it is like to have a different life with less money and other values than than back home Who was his bottle of food?